Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee and this is our last video on the Triangle Angles series. Um, this particular video is on the triangle side angle relationships. In a triangle, the largest angle is opposite the longest side and the smallest angle is opposite the shortest side. And then it follows that the mid-size angle is opposite the mid-size side. Okay, so what it's saying is that the large angle is opposite the large side, or the longest side. The smallest angle is opposite the smallest side, and the middle angle is opposite the middle size. Think of it as going to McDonald's and ordering an extra value meal. You can get the small size, where it comes with the small fries and the small drink. You can get the, the middle size, where it comes with a medium french fry and a medium drink, or you can get the large size where you get the large size, the large french fries and the large drink. Okay, so we have a triangle here and we're given three of its angles. And it tells us that triangle ABC has side lengths of seven centimeters, nine centimeters, and four and five tenths centimeters. We're gonna use this relationship of small side, opposite small angle, etc., to match the side, each side with its correct length. All right, so let's take a look. First of all, let's start, I always like to start with a large. You don't have to start with a large, but I'm gonna start with a large. And the largest angle is going to be angle B at 100 degrees. Now, I need to know the side that is opposite this angle. This one's pretty easy to tell. Sometimes they're a little difficult to tell. So a general rule is that it's the side that does not touch the angle. So here's my angle right here. And if you look, this side AB and side BC, they both touch angle B. But angle AC does not. So this is the side that is opposite angle B. And since angle B is the largest angle, we want the largest side length to go here. And the largest side is nine centimeters. So this would be nine centimeters. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Let's go for the smallest. This 30 degrees is the smallest angle. So C is your smallest angle. And we want the side that is opposite C. Again, it's the side that does not touch C. AC touches C, BC touches C, but AB does not. So this is the side that is opposite angle C. And since angle C is the smallest angle at 30 degrees, we want the smallest side or the shortest side, which is the 4.5 centimeters. And then it follows that the remaining ones are gonna be the ones that are opposite. So we have angle A, this is the middle or the medium side size angle. And the only side that it doesn't touch or that doesn't touch angle A is BC. So this is the opposite side. And we're going middle to middle, seven centimeters. And that's all there is to it. So for each triangle, we're gonna list the angles in order of smallest to greatest. Okay, I think my pages got out of order. So hold on just a second, let me change them up for you. There we go, this is better. We're gonna list the sides in order of longest to shortest. And again, we're given the degrees. So let's start with the longest. Longest goes with largest. What is the largest angle? The largest angle measure is the 67 degrees. And what side is opposite? It's the side that doesn't touch it. So it would be the side NO. So the way you write the sides is you write it with the letters, NO, and then you put a line above it. You could also write it as ON. The order doesn't matter for a side. But this is gonna be the longest or the shortest. I'm sorry, this is gonna be the longest. Okay, now let's go with the middle. 
the middle degree is the 60 degrees, which is angle O. And which side does not touch it? This MN side. So MN, which can also be written as NM, make sure you put the line above it, is going to be the middle. And then the smallest angle is 53, and the side opposite it is the MO because it doesn't touch it. So you could say MO, or you could say OM. And this is the largest to smallest order. Again, you can write it either way. Go ahead and try the next one. Put the sides in order from longest to shortest. Once you have your answer, come back and check your work. Okay, let's see how you did. Longest to shortest. The longest side is CD. 100, 124 degrees is the largest angle, so the longest side is opposite, and that would be side CD, or you could say DC. Okay, next would be CE. The next largest angle is this 33 degrees, angle D. The side opposite is CE, or you could say EC, which means the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle, which would be DE, or you could say ED. How'd you do? Okay, now we're going to match the lengths to its side. We're basically doing the same thing, except for you're going to write the lengths on the model. Okay, so here we go. Largest. Largest is 103 degrees. That's the largest angle. Which side is opposite the 103 degree or opposite angle B? That would be side AC. So when you go to write the length, you write it on the side. Just like this. A lot of students write it right next to the letters. Nope, we're, we're identifying the side. So it goes on the side, not in an angle, not by an angle. And that was wrong. Did you guys catch my mistake? Sorry about that. The longest side is not 24.1, it's actually 34. So the 34 goes here. Okay, so what is going to go on the side opposite 34? Go ahead and write it. Since 34 is the smallest angle, then the smallest side, the 19.3, would go opposite it, which means that the middle angle, 44 degrees, the side opposite that would be the middle sized side, which is 24.1. Okay, now we're going to look at it being given the side lengths, and we're going to have to figure out where the angle degrees go. So triangle ABC has angles measuring 60 degrees, 80 degrees, and 40. Use the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle to match each angle with its correct measure. Okay, we're doing the same thing. Large, go, large is opposite large. Medium is opposite medium. Small is opposite the small. So I'm going to start with the largest side, which is 20 and I need to go to its angle. So which vertex does 20, this, this side, not touch? It touches the B vertex and it touches the C. It does not touch the A. That means the angle A, vertex A, is opposite the 20. Since 20 is the largest, angle A is the largest, which would be 80 degrees. Okay, let's go with the smallest. The smallest side is side AB which side is opposite or which angle is opposite well it's going to be the vertex that this side does not touch it does not touch angle C so angle C is opposite the 13 this is the smallest size so angle C is the smallest angle which is 40 degrees and that means that the middle side 17 and 6 tenths is opposite angle B so this would be the middle angle, which is 60 degrees. Okay, let's do some practice. For each triangle, list the angles in order from of smallest to largest. Go ahead, pause the video, do this one on your, on your own. Come back and check. Okay, hopefully you noticed that it was smallest to largest this time. So the smallest angle is angle S, because angle S is opposite the smallest side, which is the 1 and 3 tenths. Okay, the next smallest would be 2 and 6 tenths. 
and the angle opposite this side is angle R. So angle R is opposite this 2 and 6 tenths. Try to get this off there. And then lastly, we have the largest side is the 2 and 7 tenths, and the angle opposite that would be angle Q. So angle S, angle R, and angle Q. So I'd like for you to go ahead and try the next example. Come back and check your work when you're done. Okay, let's take a look. The smallest angle is angle A. The smallest side is 14.8, and the angle opposite that is angle A. The next smallest size is angle C, and angle C is opposite the 20.3, and then the longest side is 25.3. Its angle is angle B, so angle B is the largest. So from smallest to largest, it goes angle A, angle C, and angle B. Okay, now we want to match the angle measures to the correct angles. We're actually going to write the angle measures in the angles where they go. I always like to start with the largest. The largest angle is 94 degrees. So let me find the longest side. It is the 35. And this side, the angle that's opposite this, is angle Y. So Y would be 94 degrees. When you go to write in the measurement, you need to make sure that you write it in the angle itself. Okay, you're not writing it on the side like it was a side length. It goes in the angle. Okay, I'm going to go to the smallest. The smallest is 22 degrees. So what's the smallest size? The 11. And the angle that's opposite the smallest side is angle Z. Now sometimes these angles are too small to actually write the measurement. So just draw a little arrow. Say, okay, this is 22 degrees. And then lastly, you have the middle, which is 65, or the medium, and that would be opposite the 25.3, which is angle X. So it's pretty easy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little problem solving and put everything that we have learned in this whole triangle angle unit together. Brandy is making a quilt. Each block of quilt is made up of four triangles. Each triangle is in the shape of a right isosceles triangle. Two of the side measures of one triangle is 6.4 inches and 9 inches. Brandy wants to add a ribbon border around one of the triangles. How much ribbon will she need? You always want to start with a model. The triangle is a right isosceles triangle. Now, I am no artist but I'm going to try my best. It has a right angle, which means it's going to be perpendicular. And I'm going to put my little ang right angle symbol. And then I'm just going to connect. So there's my triangle. I know that two of the sides, oh, wait a minute. Let's go back to isosceles. What does isosceles mean? Eyes, there's two. Two what? Two sides that are equal. Okay, so I know two sides are equal because it is isosceles. Okay, so one is 6.4 inches, so either I'm going to have two sides that are 6.4 inches or two sides that are 9 inches. But we just learned about angle side relationships, right? The large is opposite the large. In this right isosceles triangle, this one measures 90 degrees. That means that these two are less than 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is the largest angle, which means the longest side is opposite that. And the longest side is the 9 inches. So this is 9 inches. Which means, because two sides are equal, this side and this side are equal, and they're both going to measure 6.4 inches. What do you think? It's pretty easy, right? Nah. You have to think a lot. Think about everything that we've learned. Use all of the clues that you're given here. Right triangle. Isosceles triangle. 
So we're talking about the angles, we're talking about the sides. Then we have to talk about the relationship between the angles and the sides. And now let's answer a question. She wants to add a border around the triangle. How much ribbon will she need? Well, when you're going around a shape, what is it that you're looking for? You're looking for the perimeter. So we need to go ahead and add the perimeter up. 6.4 plus 6.4 plus 9. Remember, 9 has that invisible decimal. And when you're adding decimals, you have to line up the decimal points. So we have an 8. And 6 and 6 is 12 plus 9 is 21. So our answer statement would be she would need 21 and 8 tenths inches of ribbon. Okay, so what triangle relationships did we identify or are used to help us solve this problem? Well, we used the fact that it was a right triangle, and I'm going to abbreviate here, that it was an isosceles triangle. Uh, we use the angle side relationship that we learned in this video. Okay, so there was a lot of important information, a lot of things that we've learned from this unit all put together in this one problem. Nice job.